Let's go. How to play against London? That lesson has to be done. That video has to be made. You just go with 96, 97 and break with e5. Then you play f5. And then you play king h8. Such an important move. In order to play more solid and not to give them now queen d5 check. That's why you play king to d8. Now the queen went on c2. And now you can launch the attack with h5 and g4. We just go with queen h4. Look at the plan with knight d5 and knight c7. So I should stop that with this move and knight e6. I want to stop his ideas with knight e5 and knight d5. Let me kick off with this move. Highly risky, but I have to take an action here. I definitely have to. I'm, play, I'm playing this move, which looks nice. I'll play bishop f5 when he takes, and bishop e4, bishop e4 next. Keep in mind, queen on h3 attacks this knight as well. If that one I can take here, right? And this is what I like about this, let's just call it the refutation of the London. You just take it. If he takes, you take by pawn, no big deal. Now, another piece comes into the game. It's the knight. Now I want to play rookie, uh, rookie to e8. Just like I told you, a good friend of mine, a master for this opening. One of the leading world masters, Grandmaster Sedlak, told me about this system. It's nice. Uh, okay, no big deal. Bishop comes to e6 or here. On e6 it controls everything. Here I'm just controlling white pieces. I want to move my bishop to h6 and play check. Bishop h6, I want to take on f4. Looks like he doesn't have a good way to defend it. Now I'm threatening rook takes e3. I played, uh, he was also threatening bishop e5. Uh, can I take on e3 here? And if he takes bishop f8, I have check. Beautifully played. Beautifully played. Big Maya the butcher. First check. Then I'll take on f5. His rook has nowhere to go. Let me just go with this check. I gotta give up this. So why here? Because I want to play rook to d3. Now it's going downhill. I played such a nice game and I was like so winning in that position. Now he's got e5. Yeah, let me just go here so he can give me a check. At least not something here. By the way, I'm still threatening this nasty move. Now he can give me check because of knight. If he gives rook h8, king f8. If this one, I just have this check. This king has nowhere to go but there. Okay. He 
king f7, so let us find my position and position of the king as well. King comes on e7, but he's gonna have some check there. Let me just put the king in the right place. And now let's go with check. He had bishop g3, oh my goodness. He had bishop g3, did you see that? Did you see that? Let me just move it. So if he ever moves knight, I'm going to play check. I'm gonna play check. Just like I told you. And now I'm winning this endgame easily. Easily winning for us. Holy sh... Oh my goodness, he made the draw. This guy is like extremely lucky, but... Okay, that's what happens. I played a fantastic game against the London. He got lucky, and that's what happens. Can you do against that?